All right, guys, so um, we've been lo looking at the dumb martial arts videos. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell that we really believe in this one. So it, it's, uh, I'm going to put in the clip, you're going to see this woman, she's going to teach you uh, how, to, how to escape a rear choke, which is, in my opinion, an extremely dangerous situation. Very. Um, and then uh, I'm also going to put in a clip of another man showing a way <laughs> to get rid of this choke. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. But we're going to put them to the test because that's what we do. Yeah. Right? Um, so the first one is I'm choking you and you turn and you elbow my hip. Okay? You ready? All right. So hold on. Let me get you. I don't want to be cheating, right? All right. Go ahead. Come on, man. Hit it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so as you see, it's not working. <laughs> The first one I was I went kind of light because I didn't want to be a jerk. Well, that's why I gave you a few. Warm up to it. And, and, and but like the second and third one, I couldn't really generate any and, power and with I'm the back of my bicep. Yeah, and I'm gonna address <laughs> what everybody's probably thinking, or what some people who think this works is thinking in, in a minute. But the second one was stomping on the foot. Okay. All right. So I'm barefoot, by the way, and and so is he. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Maybe I need shoes. So I'm here. I'll put my foot there. Can you get it? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, all right. So, so as soon as you started choking, everything changed. Yeah. <laughs> the first stop, I was like, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, uh, yeah. Um, all right. So, and now the last one was. Oh, this was my favorite. This is, I'll, I'll put this cut in right about now. And we're back. So. We're giant going, muscular man. Giant muscular man. Has this small woman in the yeah. same choke. And, and we grab the back of the head and <clears throat> chin right right into here, right? So make okay. it feel, feel where it is. Right there. Yeah, that's where we need to get it. Okay. You, you good? Yep. <laughs> so if you're wondering why he's tapping, that means that he feels like it's not I don't not have to die. So let's try again. Let me let you get your chin. Okay, okay, so, okay. So I cheated a little, right? I was already under your neck. So let's assume maybe we were a little early. Okay, okay. okay. Get, get your chin where you want it. Right, right there. Next, no, it's, it's right there, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I wonder if, they, wonder if they could hear my teeth grinding. Is that what that yeah, sound that was? my teeth. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So long story short doesn't work. None of those options work. So here's what I'm going to do, because I don't like to give a problem without giving a solution. My good friend, Mark Kruko of uh, Pedro Sauer Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, yeah, he runs the Integrated Martial Arts Academy down in North Carolina. Here's the video of Mark teaching the, the actual leverage-based defenses for this attack. Okay, so I saw a video on the internet, actually two, and uh, they were choke defenses. And so I want to share some of my details and insights, and also address like the realism of what people show. So pretty much everyone that's on the internet starts from a default like this. Nice and comfortable, have the conversation, and I know that you have to be able to talk to do an instructional, but there's basically five things that are gonna happen. You're gonna go forwards, backwards, turn to the right, turn to the left, or stay put. Pretty much everybody teaches these when you're like staying put, okay? So I don't really think that it's realistic, but I understand what people are trying to do. Now, for uh, people that show techniques like elbow them in the hip, step on their toe, I mean, I guess it could work, I don't know, but I would rather work on leverage. So if Alan grabs me, he's clearly bigger, taller, stronger, I'm gonna drop immediately, pull me back. Yeah, there's no way, okay? So when he pulls me back, look, yeah, my hips go. Yeah, it's so easy, right? So what I'm doing is I'm hitting like this, and I'm shrugging like this. If you start, come here, all the way. You don't start to choke defense like this. I mean, if, first of all, if you got to here, man, you're in trouble, okay? You, you might be able to get out, but not against someone that's really skilled. Not maybe, but I don't know. So when he grabs, first thing I'm gonna do, grip right here, look. Yeah, I got it across the chin, but I didn't get it across my neck. Can you pull me back, please? That's the determining factor. So I have a good base here. I'm gonna pull, not here, please. I'm gonna get tapped. Grab here and pull with your elbows down, up, boom, and over. Now, if somebody asked us to, and I want to address this, I thought first that they were joking, but uh, it was a comment that led to a question. What if 
they don't let go. Won't they pop your head off? So, uh, no, but let's do this. So if he holds on, and I drop, and I'm a beast, yeah, he can hold on all he wants. Look, you're gonna go down. Now, of course, I have on boards where I can just leave. If their hands come up, I wanna control their hands, and then leave. I wanna make sure that the person can't turn into me, yes. I wanna, I wanna be able to move. So this is here, they can't grab a weapon, and I'm gonna leave and get up, okay? Now, let's go over a couple things. Before, during, and after. All of the escapes and counters that you're gonna see assume that you missed all of the situational cues, clues, or you were completely ambushed and they had to hold the prize. So if he grabs, this is just going down. Now, if I turn this way, I can take this hand go right here, and now there's no choke here. And yeah, you just, right? Maybe I don't want to go to the ground, but I don't want to get choked for sure. Okay, grab. If he pulls me back, and this, look, here, turn. So pull. Yeah, I use my hips. Down, down. Okay. So what I'm doing is stepping back, and I'm looking at the floor, and then I just bump my legs. And what I'm doing with my body, it's basically like an Americana. Here, this is breaking their hips, not my leg. Here, bump, down. Okay. So, the other one is if they go forward. So if they jump on, and they come basically, yeah, the same thing. And they don't go up as clean, but they go off to the side. Now, if you get a choke on and you're neutral, right, okay? This here, grab here. He needs three things for the choke. So pressure on this side, pressure on this side, and pressure from the back. Loosen up a second. Please do not do this. And anyone that saw that, oh my goodness. Okay. Grab, use your elbows and your body. Pull, pull, squeeze. Nope. Now, I take this elbow inside. I don't want to move it so far, because you skilled jiu-jitsu people put a hook in. So I just go here. Yeah, move, and then leave. Okay, so I'm going to show a video of two of our students doing it too. But the bottom line is you grab, doesn't matter which side, the majority of the population is right-handed. So what do you do when you get on the left side? The same thing. Push, and then leave, okay? So I'm gonna do a really long breakdown, but I wanted to at least put this up there to show it to you. I'm 48, 155, maybe 160 pounds. I was a little bigger, a little heavier, a little younger. Yes, I have, a, you know, I've been training a little bit longer, but the idea is that all the techniques should work because the leverage of jujitsu, not just because you put a pressure point on them. So if you have any questions, please ask questions, share the video, and if you're anywhere near our academy, please come in and train, or please find a Gracie or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy near you. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Guys, don't depend on pain compliance against somebody who's probably already extremely uh, what's the word I want to get? They're pumped they have, up on they have, rage. Yeah, they're, they're pumped up. Yeah, they're they're you know, attacking you. Yeah, and, and so this is what I wanted to get to as well. It, okay, I understand when we're stomping. The thing I always hear is, oh yeah, but if you got six inch stilettos going in there, okay, one, who the hell walks around in six inch stilettos? Very few people, all right, very few. Two, how many people you see on six inch stilettos just jumping around on one foot? So that's not that easy either. You start stomping and trying to put power, you're gonna break them. You're gonna end up on the ground too. Three, is that really what you wanna depend on? Is in the rare situation that you're wearing your six inch stilettos, that's when you get attacked. How about something that's gonna work whether you're wearing the stilettos or tennis shoes or flats or whatever the heck else Flip you're flops, wearing. Flip flops, barefoot. Flip flops, <laughs> barefoot. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. And I know you're gonna say, oh, but you, you know, he's barefoot and you're, Okay, so if we're both wearing shoes, it's still not going to hurt. Well, I'll cut in a video of him stomping on my foot with shoes on. Yeah, it's not going to hurt. Um, I was digging my heel into your foot. I know. I felt. I was it, really doing it. It was uncomfortable. Yeah, like but I, like I didn't want people to watch our video. And go, I have <laughs> your neck I in my arm. It's not going to stop me. Seconds and, from and, sleeping. And imagine this: you stomp, and I'm like, oh, and why would this let go? I'm still going to keep choking yes. you as I fall. And now you're on the ground. I don't think, sometimes I think people forget how quick you go to sleep. 
Yeah, like, six I, seconds, guys. You have a six second clock. Yeah, I, I, I almost feel like we have to do that video one of these days. What, putting you to sleep? I, I, I was thinking you, since you're the trained professional. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm the trained professional of falling asleep. Yeah. I don't think you need to be trained. You are the black belt, sir. <laughs> and we're not choking blue belts. All right, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm Bill Jones. This is Ed Whitney. We're the hosts of Black Belt Tips. We'll see you next time.